Welcome to Yokohama. This is Yamashita Park. And it's a beautiful day and a perfect time to just go for a little walk. And then it would take you from here, uh, wrap around Yamashita Park and, and um, go over towards Chinatown. And I think after this video, you're gonna have a pretty good, good idea of what it's like to be in Yokohama in this area. How you doing? I'm in Yokohama. I came here to film an episode at a at a small factory, a small business that has uh, changed its strategy uh, after the in in the era of the pandemic. And I'm going to be uh, editing this and putting it on a, a new channel uh, maybe next week or, or really soon. But uh, I don't want to waste a day. So let's enjoy walking around this area now. Yamashita Park right here. Uh, this is this park was built in 1930, I believe, and um, uh, Yokohama is one of the most important uh, port cities in Japan. There's Nagasaki, there's Kobe, there's a, uh, wow, there's a lot of them, but this one was very important to Edo and when, when this was the capital and it still is. But um, you can see a lot of history by walking around this area and maybe we'll see some of the buildings. It was very Western influenced because a lot of, of Western ships, uh, travelers came through this port and that influence stays today. As you can see uh, straight ahead, there's the uh, red, bri red brick warehouse. Red brick is not sort of normal in Japan. <laughs> it's like a Western thing, but you can see it here in Yokohama. Very beautiful. Uh, I'm now what I'm panning, panning around to is showing you uh, Minato Mirai which is what I like to call like Yokohama's playground. It's got a Ferris wheel, that hotel. I think that's the um, Intercontinental. And the landmark tower used to be the tallest building in Japan. And now that goes to, I think there's a building down in Osaka, which has taken it over. And the sky tree of course is a lot bigger. But at night from this spot, Looking at the city, it's just glowing. It's so beautiful over there. Yeah, there's the Cup Noodle Museum. There's so many museums in Yokohama. Um, people are out and about. Enjoying the afternoon. Starting on the 19th, uh, Kanai and I can travel outside of the Tokyo, Yokohama, Chiba area and uh, we're really looking forward to that. So we have two more days before Japan opens up. So from this point, I think that's the, um, um, not the Rainbow Bridge, the Bay Bridge, but it's, a, it's an amazing bridge in Yokohama as well. You always see that bridge when you're leaving from Haneda Airport, getting onto a plane and traveling towards Miyazaki or towards uh, Yonago or some of the other points to the west, you'll always see this bridge um, outside of your window if you're sitting on the right side, I believe. Okay, let's get going. Um, I don't know Yokohama as well as I know Tokyo and some other places, but I do know that uh, it's one of the most peaceful, relaxing cities in Japan. Up here, we're gonna be hanging a right, cut through the grass. I do have some good news. I got a new mask. <laughs> so I'm a, I'm a better cover than I was before. Um, so you'll get to see my mask popping up. I've been sitting by myself for a while. No, there's Toby in the distance or his nicer cousins. I think that's the Hikawa Maru, Hikawa Maru, which is uh, now it's just a museum, but it's nice to see that ship in dock. It adds a lot of color to, to this park. This is mask number one. <laughs> this allows me to breathe a little bit better. That this doesn't protect me from, 
from catching a, a virus, but it does protect other people by reducing the amount of droplets. So I'm better than I was yesterday. I, I listened to the viewers who said, stop wearing that government issue mask. I get it. And we're gonna be getting rid of this uh, s s scraggly hair pretty soon. What a beautiful afternoon. All right, straight ahead is a water fountain that sort of defines uh, Yamashita Park. Beautiful green grass to to sit in here. Since since the state of emergency ended in Tokyo, and we're moving closer to st step three. Um, it's gotten a little bit relaxed. Some say too relaxed. But it's important because Japan is officially in a recession and we must get out there and, and spend some money. <laughs> we got to throw, throw around some money to help this economy. Next up is, is in July, I believe some countries, nationalities, will be able to travel here to Japan. Uh, Australia, New Zealand, Vietnam, Thailand, China. Uh, we'll be limited to 250 tourists is the is the, in the news. I don't know how they do that, but probably business travelers will be first. It's one of the port towers. And if you go straight this way, guess what is in front of us? The infamous, notorious, extremely delicious Chinatown. Maybe we're gonna get some street food over here. I do love the manhole covers in Yokohama. Give me a second here. There it is right there. Hey, Trevor Beck's here. Hey, John, watch out for Toby. But it looks hot out there, so get something to drink and stay hydrated. Whoosh. Thank you. I am watching out for these, these Tobys. There's so many of them. That is the Yokohama manhole cover. And the bridge that I just showed you is on it. Beautiful. It is a bay city. It is a city on the water. So you're gonna see that culture in, in the stamps and the manhole covers and all sorts of things around. I came by rental car. I parked underneath that building. <laughs> This hat used to be able to keep my hair in place. Guess what? It's just, it's grown life and it just sprouts out of the sides. There's nothing I can do. No hair gel, no wax, nothing can, can save me. The only thing that could is possibly growing it out even further and making it a thing or giving Kanai access to the clippers and letting her do what she wants to do. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Hairdressers are open, yeah. I figure I'll let Kanai have a go at it and after she messes that up, or maybe even does a good job, I'll go to my um, barber who I've been seeing for the last 14 years or so and get it fixed <laughs> the next day. <laughs> All right, here's a little bit of the history. So Yokohama looked very Western back in, uh, um, what well, says right here, 1872. Uh, there are gas lights lining the streets here and uh, the lights are imported from Glasgow in, in Scotland. And you can see it's in these pictures here. That's pretty interesting to see. Um, it looks like something from Europe or, or, the, or like the US. And we have pictures of uh, Japanese uh, rickshaw 
drivers. Who's that guy? <laughs> Pretty cool. I, I love the fact that they put in, it's, I think it's just about every city around the world, but they put little teeny reminders of where the city came from because every city has an amazing story to tell. Yokohama has one for sure, including where we're going right now. Yeah, there is a new Toby emoji. Has anybody found it? For members, you will find, you will unlock some amazing emoji from this show. Some of them are a little inside jokes. Please do not, wherever you are in the world, stay positive and do not turn to the dark side, whatever you do. Darth Toby. You don't want Darth Toby to be your master. All right, it's just, it's not gonna work for you. You think it would, you, you think he's cool until he chokes you with that, that power of the dark side. So just remember who Toby is before you decide to wander in that direction. The power of the call. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a drink here. What do we got in the Keating vending machines? Good old water. I like the sound of that. Ah, oh, they got Mugi Cha right there. Keating Love Sports is the name of their Pocati Sweat and a Gatorade. That's interesting. Sparkling grape. That looks like uh, it'd be super sweet right there. XXQ 8000 XX. Hey. Oh wow, they have a super pineapple. That looks pretty hardcore. I don't know, none of these look like they're, they're doing it for me. I might just get water. That's really boring. Sometimes you just gotta do, do something for yourself here. Some cold water would really hit the spot. This is no ordinary water. This is French water, Vol Volvic. For those of you who are just tuning in, welcome to Yokohama. This is an inconvenient hour for most of the United States. Everybody on the East Coast is asleep. Volvic is yucky. Hey, Volvic is cold and John is thirsty. It would have to be very, very yucky in order for me to agree with that. Tastes like water. I don't know. I, I'm not complaining. Oh, that hits the spot. So I've been... A lot of you might already know that the, the cat is out of the hat. Or the cat is out of the bag. You know, the longer I spend in Japan, the more I start forgetting some of the expressions that I grew up knowing, like, really well. The cat is out of the hat. Is that I don't know. But the cat is out of the hat, so I will, I will be making a new announcement, um, an announcement uh, on uh, big news, because it's finished. And uh, yeah, there's some content coming. There's a new sheriff in town. All the other YouTubers that thought that the party was on because old JD was off, off the radar. Guess what? He be back. He be back hard. Welcome to Chinatown. As we enter these gates, touch wall here, we will find a surprising array of delicious foods, succulent, juicy. Like the last time I came here, it was with Kanai. We ordered some um, uh, juicy uh, steamed dumpling or something, I forget what it was, but the juice came out and squirted all over the place. It's kind of a funny moment. That was a really good live stream. I don't think a lot of, I don't know if you guys saw that one. Oh, this way. 
that was so funny. Kanai and I, we did a street food binge down, uh, down here. So that's where we are right now. And I thought I would get one something uh, for the ride back. I probably, I, I drove out here. That's the first time I ever drove to, um, to Yokohama from Tokyo. Oh, I ate this last time. Hey, Shane. Shane, you, Shane, Shane. Even your, your, your support right here is all red with the red Tobies. I can't even see Tobies glow because you just made the entire box glow, Shane. Just be careful with that. Okay, don't play too hard with the dark side. Let, should we get some pecking duck? I don't know, I guess we could. What do you think? Let's go in here. I'm gonna save that for a happy ending. Well, I wanna get a steamed dumpling. Oh man, I'm dying for a steamed dumpling. Some strawberry. Whoa. Mask on. I am your father. No thank you to tapioca. Have, has anybody been down this down this uh, road before? If you've been to Yokohama Chinatown, admit it now. S say it, don't spray it. Let me know if you've been here. And if you have, tell me a place that's really delicious because I'd love to get a... See, I don't know which steamed dumplings are good. They all look pretty good, don't they? They all look pretty good. Are you welcome to a traveler's? I saw we had some new, new, new members signing up. That's awesome. Welcome aboard, everybody. Plush Vadar is here. Almuzaz858. Eight. How you doing? And Vistrom1000. Welcome, traveler. Even if you're not a member, you are still a traveler. <laughs> because you are, but basically you are because you're with me, all right? Everybody's with me, all right? You, everybody, you're, you're watching. Some people were saying, is the, ch is the content, do we have to pay for, no, you don't have to pay, you're watching it for free. Just, okay, just don't worry about it, all right? Like, like, I, I understand the concept, too, because there's a window here, like, oh, look at the food, I want to eat it. Oh, I can't, my hand's touching, the, my hand can't get to the food. I understand, it's not like that. You can see, just don't touch. What is that? That is a pakuchi, which is coriander gyoza. Oh my word, that looks so good. Coriander gyoza. I like that. It's got, they put the flour in there that bakes around the dumplings like this. That's really good. It's a great idea. It's a great idea. It is, it looks like we're in China. Ni hao. All right. Do you see that flicker? It's actually not flickering. It's called the Kanto flicker, what I call it. In the Kanto area of Japan, the frequency of the, the hertz is uh, 50, which unless the shutter speed is at 100, it will flicker in all your videos. Or you can change your video settings to PAL, and then PAL, um, PAL 50 matches up pretty good with the flicker, and then you can change the shutter speed. It's so annoying making videos in Japan because of the flicker. Look at the rotating food. Rotating food is always good. Somebody lost their shoe. All right. 
It's time to eat. Everyone who wants to eat, click the like button. Do it now. Oh, this is where Kanai and I ate. Can I and I ate a steamed dumpling there. It's hard to know where the, I think they all have the same steamed dumplings, right? No steamed dumpling is better than another one. Are they? Is there a better one? Let's ask this guy. Oh, he is a steamed dumpling man. He makes the dumplings by putting the flour between his pecs. That's how he folds it over. That looks really good. What do you think? I think we ate, I think Kanai and I ate here. This is where we ate last time. This is where, oh, I'm not gonna get it here. This is where Kanai and I sprayed the juices all over. It just, it, it reminded me. But there's other stuff besides dumpling now. Check it out. Oh, wait, check that out up here. We have a chicken iri negi pie. Chicken and negi pie. That's very popular in Taiwan. All right, let's try that. Shall we try a chicken? Chicken iri negi pie. All right, let's try that. Actually, the, the uh, fukahide man looks good too. The fukahide man looks really good too. I'm lost. So what should I get here? The fukahideman or the chicken uh, leeks pie. Up to you. The internet must speak. Speak now. Get both. Marcus, I can't do that. Because I, I, I get a date with the pecking duck. Chicken pie. Okay. Looks like I'll get the chicken pie. She had to order it inside. That's what it looks like right there. Dude, that's like a burrito. Awesome. Rolled scallion pancake. I guess that's what it is. Yeah. Anyone ever do this? Can they really tell the future? Because I would love to know. With all the changes in my life going on here, knowing what's going to come next would really help. Read that. Can anyone read this? Take a screenshot, read it. Dude, she took my order and she just left. She took my order and left and didn't come back. Oh, Jingtao. Jingtao beer. If Mr. Das was here, I would get it. Mr. Das isn't here. But I can't because I'm driving. Ah, oh, I forgot, I'm driving. Shoot. I'm driving, therefore. It says, you will have a long, happy life. Julie, I love you. Thank you. That's so nice. Thank you. Toto, I, I, I'm driving, man. I would. I would. I came here by car. I would. How's everybody doing? I, I started getting uh, us a mask tan, meaning it's 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 dark here and it's all pale on the inside. What would I Uber home when I have a rent a car to return in four hours? <laughs> Uber home, come back and pick up the car because somebody said to get a, a four dollar beer. 
the math doesn't work out. If someone if someone sent me like a six hundred dollars super chat, I might do it. That'd be ridiculous. Don't do that. Just don't do that. that would, nobody do that. That's crazy. I take it back. Boy, that this isn't street food. It's like boiling in there. Oh yeah 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 yo! Oh that hurts! Oh oh! How long can you do this for? One, two, three. Okay. Oh, it smells, smells like steamed dumpling. There's not a lot you can do except wait. S stick your face in the steam. Ray, that steam is like, like 200 degrees, man. I will not look the same if I were to do that. Boy, this, this, this takes a long time. I guess they're making it fresh. They gotta go and... The chicken's fresh. Look what, I made a friend down here. How you doing, little guy? What's up? Part of me wants to just let him out. I wanna let you go, buddy, but where are you gonna go? The park is a good, like, one kilometer away to get back to the park, buddy. Yeah, I do want to save little guy. I want to take him with me. He probably would snap and bite my finger off, though. It's, sometimes being a savior sometimes is painful. Not only does he, he feed on my finger, he gets his freedom. That doesn't sound like a good deal. Welcome to R.A.J. Ramza. Welcome. You're a traveler. And you're always with me, all of you guys. All right, we're moments away from me getting this chicken thing. I should have ordered a steamed dumpling. I had no idea. It says here it's the number one. That one looks really good, too. The, the tame mari gyoza. Look at that. Is it like cheese crusted on that thing? Oh, man. Brendan, here's for hand sanitizer. You don't need to sterilize with steam. I would. Yeah, technically, I, I kind of did sterilize my hands with steam, didn't I? Thank, good call. Thanks for reminding me about that. I actually do have uh, alcohol wipes here. So let me do that right now. Good call, Brenda. Thank you. Keep your hands clean and your face clean. Keep your feet clean. Keep it all clean. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Thanks for hanging out with me while I'm waiting for my chicken eggy pie. Hey, thank you. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Whoa. Enter the chicken pie. Oh, this is really hot. Okay, there's no place to really eat this thing, so I guess you just eat it on the corner. All right, let's do this. This is so hot. No, look, I've learned from my lessons of takoyaki. If you eat on the street, let it cool. Oh, it is so hot. Ah, it, it does look really good. Hold on. Oh my, I can't eat this yet. It's too hot. Ah, that's burning my hands through the paper. Oh gosh. That looks really good. All right, I can do this. I can do this. Just do it slowly. Remember takoyaki. Remember, remember you've lost, I've lost the skin on the top of my roof for a very, uh, the skin on the top of the roof of my mouth many, many times. <laughs> this is the, <laughs> I'm hungry. Oh man. That's good. That's really good. 
Uh, they put the uh, negi in the pancake around it, and that pancake is is uh, it's like mochi mochi, you know, like a little bit springy there. Now I can see why this is number one. Very good. Look, they're walking and eating. Chicken, negi, pie. All right, by the time I get to the, um, I'm gonna walk down Chinatown here. By the time I get to the Peking Duck Place, this will be gone. Pro tip, poke a hole in takoyaki to let the heat out. Denise, you're a genius. Even when I do that, I still don't have the patience to wait for the takoyaki to cool down. Even after you make the hole, Denise, you still have to wait a little bit, right? Because <laughs> because I can't do that, I'm incapable. It does look good, doesn't it? I like the piece of lettuce in there and then and the leeks. It, it feels like I am eating vegetables. I, I am healthy. Look at that massive tapioca on there. Blackburn, welcome. Mmm. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Oh look, the vending machines has China patterns on them. That's pretty nice. Do they have anything interesting? No. The usual. I, I love the alleys. You always have to check out the uh, alleys. There's the Ichigo Milk. And uh, um, our good friend from Men in Black is the boss in Japan. He's been the boss of Japan for a long time. Tommy Lee. He comes to Japan, I think, like something like three times a year to do the ads and... They love him at, at uh, Suntory Boss Coffee. Not a lot of people here. Oh, look at that fried squid. That's a pretty nice pattern. Hmm. They deep fried the squid like that. That's awesome. Whoa. They're making dumplings. Some, that's so beautiful. Ah, oh, I just love dumplings. The gooey goodness with uh, treasure inside oh man look at this that's what I'm talking about oh, dumplings I 
Now let's get some pecking duck. I can't travel to China, but thankfully ducks can fly and they fly from China to Yokohama and that's where they, they become pecking duck. I guess, I guess the pecking ducks are scared of pecking because there's so many pecking duck restaurants. They fly this way and they don't realize that they're, they're pecking duck restaurants here too. Whoa, some neat looking gourmet dumplings there. A set of four for six, six dollars. Should I get that or should I get the Peking dumplings? Because I feel bad. Should I get these here? What do you guys think? Should I get the Peking duck or the number one ninky dumplings? People say get both. I can't do that. Can I gonna kill me if I if, can say, how come you're not gonna eat the dinner? You don't love me anymore? Said, no, baby. I ate dumplings. I was powerless. And some random internet dude who we love told us to eat it. Both. Hi, Konnichiwa. あの、そう、4個、その人気ナンバー 1。Hey, Should I put alcohol on it or ponzu? I think you're supposed to put after you touch it. You use alcohol. Okay. That feels pretty good. Pick chopsticks from the back. So nobody. It's all good. Hey, did Mikey eat here? That's awesome. I found a table. All right, let's give this a try here. While, while there's steaming dumplings on the window here. All right, I'm gonna try the green one. So it's a black vinegar that I put on top of it. So this takes the place of the, whoa. This takes the place of the picking duck. So this looks like it's green. I guess it's pork inside there. Let's, let's dissect it. Oh, look at the juice that popped out of there. Dudes and ladies. Oh, there's like a pork meatball in there. Of course there is. I knew that before I bought it because it said so. All right, this is gonna be hot. Take it easy. Michael Sassano, duck, do it. My, oh, Michael, why'd you have to do that when, I, when I'm just, just buying this one? I ate that duck in um, another live stream with Kanai, and I remember it, it wasn't that good. Can I get off on a technicality? It wasn't actually that good. Pretty good. 
Daichan says, don't act. Can I respond, don't comment? No. This doesn't work with the audience. I've just burned, you know what's going through my mind? I've burned my mouth too many times. I've lost skin on the, t on the roof of my mouth too many times. I know better. I wish you could put a thermometer in there and know who, uh, know exactly what the temperature is before you know, you, you know. It's perfect. He's putting steamed dumplings. He just put it in front of me and then he closed it so you can't see it. It's pretty awesome. Oh man, that is really good. You know why? I don't know how they did this. Listen, so it's it's like a dumpling on the on the top, and it's like a cookie, crunchy on the bottom. So the consistency of it is really badass. Dude. It, Sprayed on the gimbal. Where's my towel? Brendan, where's my towel? I gotta get that off. The gimbal's not waterproof. Here. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, my gimbal smells like pork. Don't bite into it. It was a squirter. Like that dude in Ginza the other day. His job was to squirt um, alcohol into people's hands. Mm, that's delightful. Right, I have to do this carefully. We're good. Very good. <clears throat> very, very good. Si Tenub World. The dumpling is done with dough, mixed meat, and soup, and is uh, jelly, so when the dumplings cook, the soup is inside. No, cause the dumpling chef showed me how. I'm a chef as well. Hey, thanks for that information. Dumplings are good. I can see that, like, Pastry chefs and dumpling chefs. I could see a chef just specializing in dumplings and make a lot of money doing that and be really fat. That was so worth it. That was so worth it. Hi. Oh, look, there's a little sink outside. Hey, gimbal, I can wash my gimbal. Gimbal, wash yourself. I'm washing your the body of your guys's. Good grammar, John. That's smart to put a, a auto sink on the street. Nice. Gimbal has been washed. I I am not hungry at all. I, gosh, Michael, why did you have to go do that? To be so kind. I'm gonna have to rain check that that. There's no way I can eat more, and Kanai's gonna kill me. I fear her more than, <clears throat> more than Michael. John apple pies for Kanai. Uh, mele mele. Oh, where is that? 
I didn't see any apple pies places, but I'm gonna make an, I'm making one more stop on the way home um, to get something for Kunai at a, at a uh, dessert shop. So there's a famous, another famous dessert. No, I'm not gonna do it. I, I, I can't because I can't fit it. There's no place. I'm gonna get in big, big trouble. I'm a whipped man. I have the marks to prove it. I'm whipped. Whipped by wife. I've tried Brandon Fade Kanai. I've never seen a monster vending machine. Never seen that before. What a little adventure. That was a lot of fun. Thanks for sharing a, an hour with me, guys. Oh, I'm so full. Take the duck home. Street food duck is not really that good. And you know what? I'm not taking, I'm not taking Kanai duck anything. Kanai will kill, Kanai hates duck meat. She loves ducks. If I brought her pecking duck, she'd slap me. What do you think I am? I said, no, no, no. Who wrote that? All right, who's the dude who, who wrote Bring Duck Home? Oh, Doki Doki. I'm gonna tell Kanai to slap Doki Doki because it's not my fault, all right? Look, Kanai, I didn't do it. I'm just fulfilling a request from Doki Doki. Doki Doki told me to bring you duck. Doesn't he, doesn't Doki Doki know that I don't like duck? Said, no, nobody knows, now they know. But they're still suggesting it because it's the internet and that's what they do. They make you do things that you don't want to do. How would I know? <laughs> I love having a conversation with Doki Doki through, through live stream. Doki Doki, you wouldn't know. It's not your fault, Doki Doki. We're good now. All right, we're good. Doki Doki, rest easy. I will protect you from Kanai's wrath. I'll only say that you suggested it, but I, I had the brains to, to not go through with the plan. I had the, the uh, what's the word? Obedience, no. Discipline, not to buy it. C'est très bon. It's the French water. All right, guys, I'm going down here. You want to see the car? <clears throat> I'm going to take you with me until we have no signal. All right. All right. If we go Minecraft on this, you know, I tried my best to bring you with me. And we, we all fail. All right. We, we're not. We're all going to fail. Let's see what we can do. I have a rental. It's a Toyota uh, Aqua. And it's more of the affordable uh, cars. But um, I, I love the episode that I just filmed because it's, um, uh, it supports a local business uh, that came up with a really good idea. I think you're gonna like this episode. I'll tease it next week, but give me some time to, to edit it. I wanna finish uh, um, as many episodes as I can. Uh, so I'm working pretty hard. So as soon as I get home, I'm gonna be doing that. This parking garage was pretty darn expensive too. I just took what I could get. Actually, Sh Shane's contribution probably gonna pay for parking, buddy. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Taking you into the beast, the belly of the beast. Woo! Oh, you're gonna be, you're gonna freak out. You know why? All right, you're gonna freak out at the cars down here. All right, but just watch left and right as I walk to the car. If, if it's Minecraft, then you're gonna be seeing Minecraft Ferraris and and uh, all these amazing cars. Yeah. This is crazy, watch. You guys still with me? 
There's two Ferraris right there. On the other side, there's a Porsche and uh, one of these Mercedes-Benz looking SUV things. And then there's a, a uh, Camaro from the 1960s. It's like, that's an awesome looking muscle car. There's a Beamer. There's, some, there's even more. And then you're gonna get to a cheap little Toyota. That's mine, my sweet ride. There's another Beamer. What is that, a Porsche? What, what is with this, this parking garage? That's some kind of car. There's a Porsche right there. What is, what's up with this parking garage? And here's my car, pulled in the opposite way. Everybody backs in, except for John. Did you see, like I walked past all these amazing cars and I feel like I'm in the wrong spot. Here's the masks that I bought. I bought some for Kanai. Handmade, handmade. Oh, nice. All right, everybody. That was a good way to end it, right? It's shocking to be in here. Um, Ryan, don't say that, I can't even say that word out loud, but I think that this, is, this might be that parking lot. Anything can happen in a live stream. That's not what I should be saying right now, but it's true. Anything can happen in a live stream. And then end of story. All right, thanks so much for watching and, and sharing a couple of hours, and an hour with me as I ate a little bit. Uh, that was my lunch, actually. Uh, I'm on my way back home to Tokyo. I uh, returned the car, but it's been a pretty interesting day. It's nice to be back uh, filming episodes for edited video again, and there is that announcement coming really soon. I put in the community tab all, all of the social media that you can catch me at. So if you want to, if you're not getting the notifications or you want more places, uh, go check that out. Discord and Patreon are the two places as, as well as um, on Instagram stories and Facebook and blah, 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 all the social media, you know the routine. It's all in there. Oh, baby. Off. None of you are contagious, right? Okay, we're good. Nice. Thank you for telling me the date. See you guys. Have a good day. Have a good night wherever you're in the world. If you're on the West Coast, get to bed. It's late. I'm on my way back to Tokyo, possibly a haircut tonight, or it's gonna be happening really, really soon, I promise, because this has got to go. I can't, I can't work in these conditions. It's just too unbearable. I, it would, look at that, what is this, what is this? That's a good, that's a good like half foot. Bye guys. <laughs>